So thank you for inviting me in. It's fun to be here. Um, and uh, those um, people who know me know that I, I love the QS events, and, and I try not to make too many pronouncements. And I generally, when I moderate them, I don't let people talk in the third person too much, you know, uh, from the front, because they're really about sharing knowledge that we've gotten from our own self-tracking and our own experiences. So I'm going to violate my own rule at Zena's invitation and just give you a little bit of background uh, uh, very, very quickly about kind of who we are, what we do, and then some stuff, even if you know that already, about how the movement in the Bay Area is changing, just so you can participate a little bit uh, more easily by knowing what we're doing. So uh, we started in 2008. Um, Kevin Kelly, my colleague, and I um, decided we were interested in a whole bunch of things that were happening at that time, everything from geolocation to uh, genomics and, and uh, sensing, um, accessible analytics, these sorts of things. We drew a circle around them and said, well, what, why is it so exciting to us? And we said, this is computing as it comes all the way in and, and gets very, very close to us. So what's it called? And so I said, well, it's, it's the quantified self. Quantified really means computing. It doesn't necessarily mean numerals uh, because a graph also counts, you know. But, but all the way at the bottom of these things is some kind of mechanism for counting. Um, and we wrote about it at first, and then Kevin had a little meeting at his uh, studio um, in Pacifica, and about 30 people came, and, and somebody came in late and Kevin said you came in late you go first and so instead of talking about what he thought or sharing an opinion he just uh, opened up his computer um, and showed us this amazing time diary of everything he'd, he'd done for the last year in I think it was 15 minute increments and it was such a great moment and then other people shared what they were doing and we thought well we're not just going to write about this. This is, this is too great. And we started having these meetings where people shared what they knew and shared what they were doing. So uh, in over four years, um, it's grown from that 30-person meeting to uh, 77 groups around the world in probably almost 20 countries now. There's uh, almost 14,000 people involved, or over 14,000 people. And when I'm asked, um, as I often am, and, and I'm forced to sort of say what it's about, I sometimes try to get people to see that we have these new instruments of observation, that all of them, in a sense, are kind of one instrument, whether it's a little MEMS accelerometer or it's a little web service that you know, tracks something that you write down in a form and gives you meaning from it. They're all kind of part of the same thing. And I, the word I use is macroscope. And a macroscope sort of is a, is a think telescope, microscope, macroscope. So a telescope lets you th see things that are far away. A microscope lets you th see things that are really small. And uh, a macroscope allows you to see the relation between things. And I put this uh, picture of redwood trees up because the first sense of use of the word in the sense that I use it was, it was in 2005 uh, by uh, uh, Berkeley. Um, biologist who placed sensors in redwood trees and allowed um, his colleagues to get a sense both of the individual trees and of the context uh, in which they grew. Um, one of the most interesting things I've observed as we've made QS over the last four years is that it's not just about learning things about ourselves, it's also about getting a different sense of how knowledge is made. And in that sense, it, um, it shares a kind of family resemblance to a lot of modern things. So you know what an expert knowledge system looks like. There's sort of a knowledge box, and then there's us, and we get some kind of transmission of knowledge from, the, from, the, from that system, whether it's the educational system or the medical system or another source of expertise. And in the quantified self, we, we sort of belong, I think, to this family of, I put them in very shadowy form, you can't see them up here, but family of participatory knowledge making, which free software, <coughs> copyleft, wikis, things like that. And I think that's what's special is that we're making knowledge for ourselves about ourselves. And we often get in kind of conversations with people who are responsible for managing data and, and kind of get very worried about what's going on in the quantified self because they say, well, how do you know your observations are valid? You know, you need, you need some test of validity before you can make these conclusions about yourself. And 
what I've observed is that in this context, validity actually decreases the further away you get from the individual who collects the data. It doesn't increase. Why is that? Because the most interesting information is in that outlier, right? Is the outlier an error? Is, it, is the machine improperly calibrated? Is there some exogenous factor you don't care about, such that it was a holiday that day, so you know, your data doesn't make sense anymore? Or is the outlier the answer? Is it like the clue? Is it the thing that's going wrong or the thing that you want to check or the thing that you want to learn from? Only the context in which data is collected gives you any kind of insight into whether the things that you care about are relevant or ir irrelevant. And the further away you get from that context, the less knowledge you have about it and in a sense, the less valid your data is. So you can try that out on somebody sometime if you're in a conversation about the quantified self. Um, the practice that we do is really simple. It's based around three questions. Uh, what did you do? How did you do it? And what did you learn? And when I moderate the sessions, sometimes it's really hard to get that out of people because people like to share opinions more than they like to share their own personal lessons. We're used to speaking in the third person <laughs> rather than the first person. But tonight, you get to see people speak in the, in the first person, and I hope you'll accept that with the generous spirit in which they, they kind of give their thoughts. Um, we've had a problem. Now I'll just get you kind of some, we'll do a little bit of work together on making this um, uh, quantified self seen function better in the Bay Area. We've had a little bit of problem because we're now at, at 2,700 people um, in the all Bay Area group and it's hard to have events that have the sense of discovery and intimacy that we like. So we've sort of butted off, and Zena runs the San Francisco group, I run the Berkeley group, uh, there's a group in Silicon Valley, um, and now I think there's also a, a North Bay group also. So we're letting those groups all function in the way that this group functions tonight, and we're, um, this group, I looked up, you have 261 people. Um, we're taking the All Bay Area group down to four times a year, and those will be like little mini conferences in a sense, and we'll reprise some of the talks that we get to see at the, that you might have missed because they happen in Berkeley, or I might have missed them because they happen in San Francisco. And I just want to ask you if you're interested to help us experiment. Uh, on December 5th, we're going to have our first one of these. Uh, it'll be here in the city, actually, at Microsoft Research. And we're going to try something uh, at the beginning, uh, a, a mini expo. So we're going to try to take the tools and the methods that people bring and often show in the demo hour and make them much more interactive. Our fantasy is that we can have um, uh, our, we, can, we can ourselves bring our data to the mini expo, whether it's our Fitbit data or our spreadsheet data or something like that, and kind of interact in real time with our data using the tools and the methods that some of the tool makers in our community have made available. So if you are here and you're making a QS tool, and you think it would be interesting to have people use it in real time and learn from, from it in real time at the expo, just let me know and we'll make a place for you. We're gonna to try to set it up in a nice way. So as always, you're invited to influence where things go yourself and we're really easy to find and if something inspires you, please help and you can make it happen. Thank you and that's how to find me.